A number of people on my YouTube channel have asked me how we laser align images to the camera. So this parallel to the camera lens and the edges of the painting don't get skewed when you're taking pictures of your artwork. Um, so what I'm going to talk about in this video is how we do that and how you might do that. And I understand that this might not be a solution for everyone because it can be a little bit expensive um, to get one of these and to do this. but. This is how we do it, and I'll explain how and why. What we use is this, uh, it's called The Parallel by Versalab. And if you go on Google and look up Versalab, um, you can easily find b &H Photo and other places. This little box with a laser in it, and what you can do is use this to laser align the camera um, lens with whatever you're shooting, whatever image you're shooting, so that it's parallel. And the reason that you want to do that is if you're, you're off left or right or up or down, what you're going to get when you get the image into Photoshop is the edges rather than being parallel to the sides of, I guess, your image on screen, you're going to see something like this. It's a tilt, right? So the top and bottom are going to be off or the sides are going to be off like this. And certainly in Photoshop, you can skew the image to bring it back into parallel. Um, and you can do some pretty amazing things with that if you didn't get it right. Um, but the best solution really is to try and get it right out of the camera if you're a photographer, you know that. So we use this, and let me show you how we use this. We take this little box with a laser inside and we place it directly on the lens so that it's it's flat against the lens then on what we're shooting at which for us is a wall we have a mirror and the idea is that the light the laser light is going to come right back to that hole where it's coming out of and then you know that your artwork is parallel to the lens now with our camera here we've got it at it's parallel to a wall, the wall is parallel, et cetera, et cetera. So it makes it a lot easier for us <clears throat> um, to be parallel even without this. But with um, uh, an easel or something like that, where the image is tilted, you're gonna find that lining up your camera with the image can be a little more difficult. And this comes in very handy for that. So what I'm gonna do here is just adjust our camera stand up and you can see right now there, we're very, very close. And then if I move the camera back and forth, left and right, I can get that dot right back into the, the, the hole that the laser is coming out of. Now it doesn't have to be exactly, exactly, exactly perfect. And even if it is, sometimes just you're holding this up, up against the lens and up against the camera can move it a little bit, but it goes a long ways to getting it right. And if you do this step first and you get your artwork parallel to the camera lens, you're gonna get a much better picture of your artwork. And then when you go to edit your artwork, you'll find that your edges aren't skewed and you're not gonna to have to be mucking with it in Photoshop. For the purposes of this demonstration, I thought I, thought I would set up this camera right here um, to show you what it would look like if we've got an easel. Now, oh, I've just got kind of a crappy setup here just for the purposes of this. But if you've got an easel, the easel's in an angle. It, it, this is very, very, very helpful because to get your camera at that same angle is really very, very difficult. So I just place this here, bring this down, and at some point, I'm gonna find my laser here. Da, da, da. And you, you can see there I am, it's on my face, I'm way too high. I had to go way down further than I thought. Stop. So, there we go. So you can see here, it's at this point where my laser is very, very close to being dead center on that tilted easel right there. And when you're working on an easel, which I think probably most people will be because 
Uh, very few people are going to have a magnetic wall like this where they can put their artwork up for scanning. Um, when you've got a camera set up like this, or you've got an easel set up like this, um, which is what most people are going to have, it's really, really hard to tell if your artwork is aligned with the camera. And if even if you try and do it visually, looking through the viewfinder to see if the artwork is skewed, I think you'd be surprised at how often you put this laser on it and discover that it's actually inches off and you're gonna be skewing your artwork. So if you are a professional that's doing this or if you are an artist that regularly shoots your artwork um, and you think it's worth it to either buy a VersaLab like this or something similar or maybe use a 3D printer to somehow get a cheaper laser in a box like this and make it work. Um, this will go a long ways to helping you align your artwork with the camera and get better shots straight out of the camera so that your artwork is not skewed when you bring it into Photoshop. And lastly, I'm just going to show you one more setup. I showed you two setups. I showed you these when I showed our wall. This is a stand that we use. Uh, this is for um, shooting film slides and transparencies and same concept is that what we do is we want to make sure that the camera is laser aligned here and it's particularly important with slides and transparencies because um, since they're so small and you're going to be shooting with a macro lens um, any skew at all shows up quite extensively in the final image and then you're ready to shoot and that is how we align our images to the camera so that they are parallel with the lens.